Hi, my name is Shakil Damoa. I'm a sales and service advisor for United Students, Wellington Lodge and Moonraker Point. I've been an SSA for about two years now. I previously used to work for the company in 2014 and 15. I can honestly say it's great to be back. No two days are the same at Unite. One day you can literally be swamped with so much activity, so much traffic, so much tasks to get through during the day. And then other times of the day, it can just be relatively quiet, literally almost a ghost town effectively. On a normal day, it usually starts off with me, us arriving at the reception, us going through each block, checking the fire panels just to make sure everything's okay. Then, you know, we briefly check our ECL reports and then we just, you know, get cracking on our emails. However, I have to have my morning coffee, otherwise I just can't start. If no two days are the same, then you're never going to be swamped throughout the whole week with work. Meeting new students, so check-in is really an exciting time for me. Meeting the new students, that's one of the best things about the job. Meeting different characters, learning about new students, and also my colleagues as well. I have to say, we have a great diverse team of colleagues at Unite. Um, and we all come from different backgrounds, so it's also nice to have that type of diversity within the team. So the most surprising story I, I, I think I've ever experienced working at Unite was one time at Wellington Lodge, we had a student that literally um, had no idea of how to cook his or prepare his own meals. And I said to myself, do you know what? Do you need any help preparing any meals? So I went with him one time in this kitchen, helped him prepare food, one of my national dishes I helped him cook called Jell-Off Rice. Um, it was fantastic, he enjoyed it. And then a few weeks later, he made it himself, he prepared it himself. And so that was a generally very nice surprise to see a student that took their time to sort of make the effort to prepare a meal or something that I taught this person. And it also, without sounding too vain or anything, but it also made me feel proud because I was able to share this knowledge and wisdom to another student. I, I love the interaction because a lot of the students there are international. I ask them to teach me how to speak stuff like Mandarin and stuff like that because a lot of our students there come from an Asian background. So, and I think it's always important to know how to speak the language a little bit just to make them feel a little more safe and feel a bit more welcome and open um, when they come to our building because it's obviously a frightening thing coming to England, coming to London for the first time. They come to a building where your English yourself might not be that great. So it's always nice just to familiarise yourself with a few words, you know, just to catch them off surprise. Like I've, I've greeted them in Mandarin before and then you can almost see, even though some of them have had a face mask on them, you can see the smile just beaming through it.